uh, the last eight minutes of the game while the team's offense got kind of stagnant and weren't really able to keep up with the scoring pace of the Heat? Uh, first play is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, I think it was for that exact reason you just said, we just got stagnant, you know. Um, we got to keep moving. I felt like a lot of times we were just kind of just watching me. And, you know, we, we can't get caught up in doing that because the team, the other team does that enough. So we got to... We gotta make sure we keep moving. Uh, ball keeps moving. Uh, that's on me too. So, you know, they, they they did a good job. You know, they did a good job of executing down the stretch. Um, you know, we just couldn't we just couldn't hit it. I think um, a part of like the the reason why you've been playing so well recently is that you've been getting downhill and being able to score at the basket. What do you think Miami did to kind of like take that away and kind of force uh, they, you? They took that away for sure. Uh, they took away all my drives, all my all, everything, pretty much to the paint. They wanted you know kind of force me to shoot jumpers all night. And, uh, you know, they're a really good rebounding team, so you know that played to their favor. So, uh, for really, they just loaded up, and you know they were switching pick and rolls, kind of like a double switch, late switch. Uh, so they, they did a good job of just keeping me off balance. But you know, we gotta, we still gotta find other ways to you know get to the basket and um, and, uh, and contribute in ways you know because when our threes aren't falling, you know we gotta have some type of presence in the paint. What made Bam Adebayo so tough tonight? Bam's an all star. That's, that's self-explanatory. You know, he's he's a specimen. You know, with with the way he's built, and you know, he, you know, Coach Coach Spo has ultimate confidence in him. His teammates do too. You know, he plays like a guard almost, um, and a big body. So you know, he he he's very versatile. You know, he's a huge huge piece of their team. So I respect him in every way for sure. Happy to see what Shabazz is able to do tonight for you guys. For sure, you know, Baz is more than capable of doing that. You know, um, I'm gonna tell him we're gonna probably gonna need that a little bit more out of him. You know, I know he loves to get guys going and you know, facilitate, but uh, need him to be a little bit more aggressive for us too, and look for himself and look for his shots too. So uh, we had a great, great night here, DB as well. Uh, they shot, shot the lights off of it, so just gotta continue to incorporate them in the fourth more. After wrapping up the uh, season series with uh, Miami, where do you think this team has grown or not have grown after four games against one of the best teams in the East? I think we've definitely grown more so than not grown. Uh, I think we all can hopefully agree on that. You know, we've shown that we can compete with them. We know that there's a very talented team, uh, one through 15. And, uh, we feel like every time we play them, we make it really difficult for them to get in their stuff and for them to win. You know, you know, we will never go down without a battle and a fight, but. I think out of all of our, you know, divisional games, you know, we we, we faced them the toughest and, and competed against them every time. So I can I can definitely say that. As Rookie goes through their struggles, but what are you just saying from Rui right now? Is Rui struggling? I don't, you know, I don't pay attention to that. You know, he uh, he just needs to continue to compete. You know, he's he's gonna, you know, they always say that rookie wall after All Star or whatever the case may be, but. You know, he's, he just needs to continue to compete. People are going to realize they have film on him now, so you know he has to continue to get better and continue to find ways to impact the game. You know, there's, there's much more he can do besides score the ball. Uh, you know, we all got to contribute in, in more than one way. Is there something in particular that Miami might have done after halftime to kind of make things more difficult for you? Not really. I think it was more so on us. You know, I think we kind of got too stagnant. I think even in the first quarter we were we were that way. And I think in the second and third we, we opened it up a little bit more and you know we got the ball moving, bodies moving, but once we get stagnant it makes it tough because once I have the ball all I see is black defenders in the paint, you know. And uh, for me, you know, that's that's always a bad thing because you know you, you want to get paint touches, you know, to be able to draw the defense in and and not be able to find your shooters. But you know, they did a really good job of, you know, taking away things we really wanted tonight. Brad, I'm related to tonight's game, but have you thought about what it might be like if you guys ended up having to play a game without fans in the arena? Mm. I haven't thought about that. Um, probably be weird, honestly. Um, definitely, we might as well do it at the facility if we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well play at the practice facility if we don't have no fans. So. Did you ever have like an AAU game where it was just not in front of anybody? And I mean, yeah, you know, you got those 8 a.m. boys that, you know, nobody's at. So I've had my fair share, you know, only my parents in the gym yelling. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it may happen. If it does, you know, we, we're pros. we got to go out there and do it and get it done at the end of the day. It'll probably, probably feel more like a scrimmage than a game. All right, thank you. Yeah, Thanks, Brad. That was weird. Three, you did have that long um, extended break due to the injury. However, after playing again, 
and knowing that this is much longer than a college season, have you experienced what people have called the rookie wall? Yeah, you know, like like you say, like you know, schedule wise, it's it's been hard, you know, uh, especially this month, you know. Um, we started with the the West Coast trip, you know, and you know we play like a four games in five days, and then we come back and then we play right away. Uh, it's been tough, but you know it is what it is, you know. And I think, yeah, that's the yeah, schedule is tough, yeah, for sure. Is there anything you can do to make that easier on yourself, or is it just kind of? I mean, I gotta take care of my body, even like mentally, you know. Like we, I have to get ready, you know, every game or you know, like you know, the, even practice. I gotta come out with a good mentality. Yeah. Your coach has been complimentary, although if you went over eight tonight, over seven the other game, your coach has been complimentary because you're doing other things. How do you evaluate your last two years? I mean, I, I think I'm thinking too much right now. You know, um, I just gotta play. You know, um, you know, everybody said do this, do this, do this. You know, like you know, I gotta. I mean, I, you know, I gotta play myself. You know, like like how we are we playing. You know, I I think I'm just like people been telling like a lot of things, and I'm just like thinking too much right now. How many people do you listen to? I mean, like, like you know, like I'm a rookie, so like you know, a lot of guys, you know, like you know, like coaches, players, like any like anybody, like you know, they want other, you know, advice and you know, give other advice and stuff. But like, that's a good thing, you know. But like, I, I sometimes like I think it too much, you know, and stuff. So I just gotta, you know, like focus on what I have to do, you know, um, defense free, offense free, you know. I have to just focus on. You know. Have you felt like you're thinking too much on the court? Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. There's like, you know, a um, couple, couple games, you know, um, I think I'm taking too much, yeah. You've reached eight three-pointers a couple times this season. Um, not quite nine, however, why do you, why, why do you, why do you think it, eight has been like the hump? It's a lot. Well, I don't think that's a hump. <laughs> you know, after, after I made those eight, I didn't really, I don't think I got any good looks, so I think if I got a decent look or a semi-open one, I would have knocked another one down and maybe another one. How do you find a balance between all your shots being three-pointers and then mixing it up every now and then? Well, I didn't really mix it up today. And, you know, I just, if I get those threes, if I feel that they're going to go in, shooting them, if I, if I can see that I can do something else, I'm trying to do that. Not related to today's game, but have you thought about what it might be like if you guys have to play without fans in the arena? Yeah, that would not really work. I think I've I've been in that position. Uh, you know, there's a different, a little bit different approach in Europe. They don't really generate that much money off of fans. Well, basically, teams don't really generate money. It's off. All the money comes from sponsors, and uh, and here, how much the game is is for the fans, and it's very commercial. You know, I don't know how long NBA will last if there will be no fans in the arena and uh, and just the atmosphere itself. Like you know, been, you've been played on some courts that uh, it's quiet and, and and it will feel even worse than that. What are you? But Rui was just uh, you know talking about his rookie wall and part of it he says that a lot of people are in his ear, whether that's coaches, teammates, whoever. Um, when you are a younger player and your advice was coming at you at all ways. How did you figure out what was essential and what was noise? You know, I think you get a lot of information and that's just going to come with experience then kind of filter through and see what, what's good for you and what's not and uh, that's part of learning game. And I would ask, would you have any advice for him, but I don't know if that would be non-essential. Um, I think that that's just the advice that just comes in the game. If you see something, say something, that's it. Say something, say something. Yep. Couple weeks back, about sometimes the team gets stagnant just watching Brad. Was that the case tonight? Uh, you know, we like the object for us when we're out there is to play basketball, and sometimes we just we're, we're looking because we're so amazed sometimes that he's making a lot of tough shots. So, you know, at times we were, um, but when it gets to the you know fourth quarter, five minutes to go, you know, you got to get the ball to your, your best player, and um. You know, we may have been stagnant by looking at him, but we was trying to move. But, you know, Miami's been playing great defense for many, many years. So, yeah, just, you know, hats off for them to being able to make it tough for, for him as well as everybody else. You've played with very good players. You, you've been the man um, in, uh, in, in college. But when you're having a good game as you have tonight, um, do you still think it's you have to yield to to Brad? So no. You were rolling. No, I, I, I think, honestly, it's just I'm not – 
the, the, the player I am, even though I, you know I make I made a couple shots, I'm not the, I'm not trying to look for mine. I'm just letting the game go, and sometimes it can get me in trouble because I, I you know I head fake or you know I pump fake a, a shot and I mess up my rhythm. But I think for me it's just literally like you know Bradley's been shooting the ball terrifically for the past twenty some games, and um, my job is to try to. Uh, help him out in any type of way, whether it be scoring a ball or whether it get him the ball in the right spots. And I thought he had some great open shots. That, you know, he had a lot of tough shots, but he makes those shots. So um, for me, it's just, like, just going out there and playing basketball. And hopefully, I make the right read. But you know, we all understand no one's perfect. Do you let the fact that you're going to be hitting free agency this summer like, ever dictate your play? Or no, just... I don't think about that. I, don't, I mean. I just think about playing. I'm, I'm very fortunate to play basketball. You know, um, it's not a lot of guys my my height that's in the league right now. So I'm fortunate enough to play basketball. I'm happy. You know, I can do that in front of my, for the fans and definitely in front of my, for my family.